and welcome to Kenya Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. A case endeavoring to forestall Deputy President William Ruto and his running mate Rigathi Gachagwa from being sworn into their separate discretionary positions would it be advisable for them they win the official political decision, has been shipped off the Deputy Chief Justice for the arrangement of judges to hear and choose the matter. On Friday, August 12, 2022, Supreme Court Registrar Bernard Casavillai issued the heading and told the legal advisors in the case recorded by 11 applicants that the meeting date will be reported once DCJ Philomena Mwilo impanels the seat. The record is shipped off the Deputy Chief Justice for the development of a seat to hear and choose the application being referred to. The gatherings will be informed of the court's decision after it has been delivered, Casavillai expressed. The recorder added that the seat will advise the gatherings on the date regarding the decision of the application looking for a center order to keep the two legislators from rising to drive assuming they are proclaimed victors by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, once the vote counting is finished because of honesty concerns. The Supreme Court gave its orders after applicants drove by Kenneth and Jajai and Jairo. Meshach Suba Church, Jackson Walula, and Beatrice Kamau welcomed shoot on Sunday, August 7, 2022, requesting an enemy of swearing directive for the two official competitors of the United Democratic Alliance. Ruto and Gachagua, through the UDA party, informed the Supreme Court that the center requests would fill no accommodating needs since nobody has been proclaimed president-elect. The party has likewise mentioned the Supreme Justice to excuse the solicitors grumbling in light of the fact that it is unlawful and an abuse of the court framework. Both the petition and notice of motion application bomb the models of justiciability and readiness and the solicitors are encouraging the court to connect on a speculative venture which is a misuse of valuable and scant legal time, the court reports add. To add, Autonomous Electoral and Boundaries Commission has been endeavoring to guarantee trustworthy decisions in Kenya. The commission have been doing great even in guaranteeing that its framework is protected from hacking along. These lines guaranteeing no gear of races. It is claimed that there has been preliminaries to hack the commission system. According to reports from the insiders, 200 hacking endeavors has been made between Thursday 4 p.m. and Friday 8 a.m. As per reports from the Star, it is uncovered that at one at once from one of the principal parties endeavored to hack the framework from inside BOMAs. This endeavor was anyway ineffective as the endeavor was recognized and his PC was seized. The commission's CEO, Hussein Martin on Friday expressed that they have shields set up to guarantee the information produced from results are protected. We guarantee the entire country that our frameworks are secure. If all else fails, converse with us to increase the security mechanisms said margin the pioneer was answering cases that certain individuals endeavored to hack the framework to introduce a calculation to impact results hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like comment and